David, does uh, Seamus Coleman and Victor and Injury sign a new deal set, send out a real positive message this week? Well, it's two of our younger players who've, who've uh, secured a future here for hopefully four or five years. And we've tended to do that, you know. We've kept the, the players we've brought in. If they do well, we give them new contracts and uh, and we keep them here. And, you know, over the piece, we've got all, Victor Amachibi's got a lot of potential. You know, we think there's a lot of lot we can work with there. He's missed a season or two through injury, maybe, and hopefully he's now beyond that. Uh, Seamus Coleman, everybody knows, with sort of the... The old story, the way it used to happen, you bring in a boy from sort of lower leagues in Ireland, small money, uh, and makes good in the Premier League. So he deserves his new contract, and uh, you know, it's great for the club that two of the younger players have, have signed their contracts and keeps that continuity what we've got at the football club going. Were you ever worried about losing Victor, given what was... Uh, I, was worried, I was worried more that he wasn't playing enough. I was more worried about his injuries and he wasn't playing enough. So it was down to Victor, and hopefully it looks if he's, he's back on it and... Obviously now we can we can get back into working hard with them and hopefully getting them right. And you have got a real core of the squad on long term deals now, haven't you? Well we've really done that through our time here. We've tried to keep you know as I said, the boys who we feel as if have come up to it, we've we've tended to make sure we look after and keep them with the squad and and the chairman's been very good that way, you know, he's keeping the keeping the players at the club who who we really want. What do you make of, of West Ham? I mean last Two league games, they've conceded eight goals against Newcastle and against Arsenal. But they've had two decent cup wins sandwiched in between those games as well. I think I think West Ham have got some good players. I really do. I think that you know, I think they've got a good good players, and I think uh, they've got a good manager. So overall, I think that uh, there's no easy game in the Premier League, and you know, West Ham went on a run, a little bit of a run, maybe a bit. Yeah, they had a bad result, I think, at Newcastle a few weeks ago. But overall. Newcastle, I think, uh, not uh, West Ham, I should say. I think I've been, I've been going about their job fine. You mentioned Abraham Grant. What do you think about the way he's been treated? Oh, I wouldn't like to get treated that way, but I wouldn't expect my chairman to treat me that way. I've got a good chairman who uh, would do what I think would do things correctly. I was going to say, is there a lot to be said for that kind of stability that, that you found here and support that you found here at Everton? Well, look, I don't know what's going on at West Ham. I don't know what, what's going on there. You know, I can only pick up what use people give out in the media or through the television so maybe it's a completely different scenario at the club but I'm just saying that you know I think our people uh, I think Bill and the, the board here do things well